close enough, the whole world being divided into these ethnically set up nation states. So that's really what I'm going to be talking about. And this business of the kind of globalized world based on these ethnic divisions. So we have this global economy. Sorry. <laughs> which is set up, um, divided between corporations and countries. The corporations are private, the countries are ethnically set up, nation states. So the idea is profit is privatized, but debt is socialized. So our position then is that we are ethnically defined entities within this global economy. So we are Irish, we're part of the Irish economy. It's our patriotic duty to support our so-called economy within the global economy, and it becomes part of so-called who we are. So. Basically what I'm talking about is there are three R's in politics. There's the idea of redistribution, which is wealth and where it goes, how it's set up and distributed. There's recognition, which is about who we are and our identity, politics of identity. And the representation thing is the core one then. But re redistribution, first of all, this idea that wealth actually is distributed in the capitalist system from the bottom to the top. So for example there, 25% of unskilled manual laborers have lost all their teeth. 3% of professionals have lost all their teeth. There's a clear difference there, um, despite the so-called welfare system and so on. Um, one of the reasons often given for professionals and managers and so on to have higher wages is because of the stress that they suffer. But unskilled laborers are actually six times more likely than professionals to be hospitalized for mental illness. Um, that gets even more um, extreme when you go to employers and managers. And again, I would say that this is evidence for the idea that the transfer is actually from the bottom to the top. So that's the idea of redistribution as being essentially a form of injury to the people who are at the bottom. Okay, we'll move on then to the second category, or the second R, as I said, which is the idea of recognition. And this is the notion of the racial state, um, which sets up bureaucratic categories of identity and ethnicity. We're divided that way so that it can be controlled. Again, this idea of the nation state, independent on the ethnic identity. Um, the citizen defined by ethnicity and identity. The core thing is that identity is externally imposed. It's not some essence. So like when I go somewhere else, the important element of my identity might be that I'm from Mayo, or it might be that I'm white, or I'm male, or I work as whatever I work at. It's not some essence. But in Ireland, for example, the way the laws are set up, black people in Ireland, this is official legal advice, should ensure that they carry ID at all times in order to avoid being detained until their identity can be determined. Um, this is based on the Residence and Immigration Act 2006, which is as a result of the citizenship in, um, referendum. Again, asylum-seeking mothers, again, based on an identity category, bureaucratically identified. They're held in reception centers. They're too malnourished to breastfeed their children. This is a state provision. Um, we can talk about recognition and identity. Only 3% of travelers are over 65 years old. You can say this because of their lifestyle, and kind of lifestyle choices. I would say it's not. It's actually because of this process of identity. Because if we look in Dublin, only 17% of traveller patients are referred by their GPs to hospital, compared to 70% of settled patients. So clearly their health outcomes are going to be far worse than somebody who's identified as not traveller. Um, since last December, there's been a deliberate policy of the government of breaking up families, in particular, families of um, what's known as parents of Irish-born children. In other words, generally people have been through the asylum system, mostly Nigerians, and they're being deported very quickly. This is Gillian Olabode. Her husband was actually deported out of the country um, before she even had time to find out where she really was being held, arrested by a snatch squad at half six in the morning and just taken out of the country. Um, so this idea then of recognition and redistribution being insult and injury, adding insult to injury, I would argue is a fundamental process of this racial state and that can actually be fatal to lots of people because you know, the exploitation happens at the bottom to the people who are most under pressure and results in things like Toyosi Shitabe, the 14 year old who was murdered in Dublin just before Easter. Um, this is the demo a few weeks ago just to protest against that. Um, so this is the kind of core idea where redistribution and recognition meet through representation. The notion of the system, the so-called democratic system, is that we have representation. But again, this is defined ethnically. It's only citizens can vote. Um, and how do you get your citizenship? Through your ethnic identity. So that's why we get this system. And I suppose the core argument is I don't really want to be complicit in this globally divided capital system based on ethnicity. 
So that's really why I don't want to be labelled or categorised as Irish.